What's up guys? You're welcome once again to David Data Channel where we talk about data science, productivity and faith. And on today's video, I'm going to try to explain the Crips DM concept or process of data science. Data science is a process, data analytics is a process that requires you to follow some sequential steps to help you get optimal or best results. And over the years, uh, a process has been created over in 1999 actually, which is referred to as the Crips DM. You know, a few weeks ago, someone reached out to me on my Twitter DM saying he didn't really understand the Crips DM process. He has read a few articles, but he still couldn't get a grasp of it. And so uh, I said to do this video to explain what the Crips DM is all about, because it's something I've applied in my projects in data science and data analytics. All right, so David Data, if this is your first time, please do well to hit the subscribe button and the like button so you don't get to miss any of our content. All right, back to Crips D. M. C R I S P D M. What does it stand for? It's an, it's an acronym that means Cross Industry Standard Process for Data Mining. Cross Industry Standard Process for Data Mining. It's so, uh, it tells us that um, data science is not just something you get to do, or data analysis, not just something you just get to do with um, from a standpoint of how you feel or how you think it should be done but a standard process has been made to help you get optimal results in your data science projects and analytics projects. And I'm going to be walking you through the stages of this whole process. The Crips DM has six stages and they are the business understanding, data understanding, data preparation, modeling, evaluation, and deployment. Yeah, so we're going to walk through each of them as briefly as possible. The first one is the business understanding. So it is critically important that before you start the data science process, you need to understand the business needs, right? You need to understand the needs of the customer, you need to understand the goals of the business. So you can look at a data science project from a business standpoint. Remember, I said in one of my previous videos of uh, some lessons for beginners that business value is very critical. You need to always see how you're providing business value from data science project or analytics project and you can provide business value if you don't start from business first right this is something you learn in the real world right because your analytics your projects your machine learning models is not just for you except you're doing research right even the research is for a business value and so you need to understand the business perspective understand the goals of the business understand the customer's needs and so you can start from that place of the business needs to develop your uh to develop your data science project or solutions you know a lot of people tend to rush over this part but i feel like this like this part is like critically important right because how do you get to sell to your stakeholders that data science is providing value if they can't see the value in the business right so your stakeholders are business people who care about the business they don't care about your models they don't care about your syntax or the sql or python code you're writing they want to see your business value the value you bring to the table for the business and you can't bring the value if you do not understand the business so this part is critically important right critically important yeah and so the next uh, stage is your data understanding so you've understood the business the needs of the business what the business wants to accomplish the goals and all that and all that say for example you want to um, analyze you want to create a model for for um, a subscription a subscription business, you want to create a model that can help them tr track customer revenue per month, uh, churn, and all that, and then reactivation and stuff like that. You understood those needs. And so the next thing you get to do is your data understanding. You ask yourself, do I have the available data I need? Okay, I need to try to understand this data. And this is where you now try to do things like um, basic visualization, data exploration, and stuff like that in a bit to understand your data and ask more questions about your data. So I, I know a lot of beginners, when they start, uh, they try to do not just beginners, anybody like really goes to cargo or online to pick data sets, you know, and just start analyzing and start asking questions about your data set. Now that is very good for you. Like you're trying to, uh, you're trying to understand stuff. You're trying to do some projects on your own, but actually, um, in the real world, it doesn't start with data first, it starts with the problem first. So there's a business problem, you understand the business problem. This is Scripps DM, what I'm trying to explain to you. You start with the business problem and then understand your data. But what a lot of people try to do right now is that they go and download the data and try to understand the data and now try to get business problems or business questions from data. Well, 
that is fine but that is not that doesn't work with the creeps dm I, and it's really not the best the best approach personally some some few personal projects i've done i started from the place of a business question I mean, it wasn't necessarily a business question but from the place of a question first and then i determined if i had the data or not and then had to go and source for the data say for example uh, a sentiment analysis on nsas tweets i said to myself oh i want to know the sentiment analysis of tweets with nsas hashtag right that's what i want to know i want to know if uh so the sentiments were really uh to if the ne negative sentiments were more to our political leaders who had the position i don't also understand that so from that place of a question i had to get my data so you have to be wary of getting data first and start asking and then to start asking yourself okay what can i see in the data what can i see in the data that is good for your exploration just to explore the data to have an understanding of the data how data flows the, the, the rules the colon the features and stuff like that that is very okay but you must always learn to start with the business understanding first and your data understanding second these are like foundations of a data science project a data analytics project so most of them are trying to build a house without uh having a strong foundation these parts are critically important yeah okay the next part of this process is your data preparation so you've understood the business the data and now you have to start preparing your data you have to start cleaning your data it is said that 60 to 80 percent of all data science projects is data preparation very true very very true you have to prepare your data to fit in the way you want it to be be it a machine learning model or an analytics model you have to prepare your data select your data query it clean it format it you may also change some features add some features and stuff like that you're just trying to prepare your data to be sure that it fits the model you are trying to prepare or rather it fits the uh solution you're trying to produce or create from a data science perspective awesome i hope you're grabbing it a thing also right yeah don't forget to hit the subscribe button all right the next step is your modeling right so it's like a cycle right business understanding data understanding data preparation and then modeling but a lot of people today just jump into modeling but then the modeling is like it's like one of the least parts because for example if you're doing a simple linear regression it could be just two lines of code right but then you should have spent more time understanding the business and your data and preparing your data so you can have good models right because your uh your model is as good as your data and as good as your business understanding because you're going to your, your logic of your model be it and be it in the analytics side of things or the machine learning side of things your logic is going to be based on how much you understand the business and the data and the solution you're trying to prepare and so modeling is just what it is you write your machine your machine learning codes or you're modeling your s with, your, with sql to prepare a data model to answer some questions maybe like i said earlier on like your uh your monthly um subscription revenue and stuff like that yeah so that's really something you really want to pay attention to so a lot of people like pay emphasis on on modeling it's very good to understand modeling right but then business understanding is critically important like i feel like a lot of people are like, ah, i know really, i know you paid emphasis on that part right because you need to provide business value like first business value the very first and then after your modeling you have your evaluation these are the points where you now evaluate your model to see if your results are as expected so it's important that you have both technical metrics and both business metrics to measure success because sometimes as data personnel we want to say that oh uh, my business my, my, my metrics for success are technical that oh i deployed the model uh, the, the 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 error was my my, my uh, model error was very low uh, and stuff like that different technical errors are different technical metrics for evaluation but it's also important for you to also have business metrics for your evaluation right because you're doing this for the business so you can evaluate and see if your model works as expected so you know that your business for example churns uh churn doesn't happen every month churn could happen three to four months and then you do a model that calculates churn and then your, your model result doesn't play side by side what the business is currently doing then you know there's a problem and you have to improve on your model that's really what evaluation is all about and it's critically important to evaluate your models objectively so you can provide good and business value for your stakeholders yeah and so this whole um crips dm process is iterative right so it's not like one change 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 no it's iterative so you start with your business understanding 
and then you go to data if you try to understand data it doesn't work so you can go back to your business as well right understand your business again and then you move forward so you can only move forward or you can choose to move forward when you feel like you have some reasonable extent of understanding of every stage and then you prepare you model you evaluate and then the last and final stage is deployment and so before deployment, if at evaluation, you see that your results are not up to what is expected, you can either go back to your business understanding and say, okay, maybe I didn't understand the business very well, or maybe my data, I, I didn't really have enough data like I thought I needed or I had, and stuff like that. Or maybe my modeling, I need to change my modeling tactics and stuff like that. Or perhaps I need to click my data or create more features and stuff like that. So this is really how the Crips DM works. And this works for any project, right? Any project. So you think a personal project for yourself, a project at work, always start the business value or a question. First of all, what are you trying to understand? Understand that problem very well. And then go ahead to get your data, understand your data, prepare your data. Uh, model it, evaluate it, and if your evaluation is not up to what you expected, you go back to any stage you think the problem is, and this is how you apply the Crips DM process in your data science projects to get optimal results. Yeah, I'm gonna rest my case here. I hope you get a thing or two out of this video. And if you have some thoughts on the Crips DM, you could share the thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. So you meet again next time on the next video. Keep learning data science, keep staying productive, and keep your faith in God. Alright guys, bye!